This is problem number one from the H10-4 homework. The directions state, use any method to find the sum of the integers from 100 through 1000. In other words, you are finding the sum of the series 100 plus 101 plus 102 all the way up to 1000. So we can do this problem. Okay, so the things we have to think about though, if we want to use our sum formula, right, for the sum of a series, we need to know a couple things. We need to know what the first term is. We need to know what the nth term or last term is. And we need to know the number of terms. So when we look at this series, we definitely know that our first term is 100. Right, like that would make our 101 like the second term, 102 the third term, and so on. Okay, we have the last term we know is 1000, but we don't know what n is, right? So I could say here right now, I know this is 100, and I know that this is 1000, but we don't know what this is. So we need to figure out the number of terms, and that's where we're going to use the other equation that you know. This is the equation for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence or series, right? We know that a sub n should equal the first term plus the common difference times the quantity of n minus 1. This is first term form. Okay, remember, some of you may still use the t of n stuff there. It'd be the same thing as if I said, you know, t of n is equal to t of 1 plus the common difference times n minus 1. Either one you can use. It doesn't matter. All right, so since I know that a sub n is 1,000, I can put that in here. We can say 1,000 equals our first term. Our first term is 100, so we'll put that in here. Our common difference here as we go from term to term here, right? You're seeing here they're increasing by 1, so we're going to say plus 1 times the quantity of n minus 1. Now we are down to just one variable and we can solve to find this. Now if I took this one and I distributed it through, right, it's not really gonna change much there because it's a positive one. So what we now have is 100 plus one times n is n, and one times negative one is negative one. Then we'll combine our like terms. We've got n plus 99 equals 1,000. And then we're going to subtract 99 from each side. So let's see. I know that 1,000 minus 100 would be 900. So we're going to do one more than that, right? So we have 901 should equal our n. So we have 901 terms in this series up here. So we can go ahead and throw down here that 901 is the number of terms. And now that we have that information, you can go ahead and you can use your sum equation. Remember the sum equation, the sum of n number of terms is going to equal the first term plus the last term or the nth term times half the number of terms. So now that we know that n is 901, we can say the sum of the first 901 terms in this series is going to equal our first term plus the last term times 901 divided by 2. Okay, and then you could probably, you know, if you need to, you can get out a calculator to do some of this. I know that when I add these two together, this would be 1,100 times 901 divided by 2. Well, let's, uh, let's just treat it like it's a fraction. We can do a little bit of this in our head, right? We can... This is like over 1, half of 1,100 would be what, uh, 550? So we have 550 times 901. I'm going to use a calculator for that part. Let's see here. We've got 550 times 901. Our answer, 495,550. 495,550 is the sum of that series. And that is our answer.
If you have additional questions on this one, please make sure you reach out. Um, be happy to help you with whatever I can. Thanks for watching.